In this episode of Retro Car Guy 530, I'm going to walk you through the steps of upgrading the DJI Fly app on an Android device from the DJI website using an APK file instead of going to the Google Play Store because that version is required by a firmware upgrade on the DJI Mini 2, which was released at the end of 2020, and that firmware version is 01.02.0100. About a month ago, a friend of mine purchased a DJI Mini 2 as his first drone and first DJI product. He asked for my assistance in getting that set up on his Android phone and making sure the firmware was upgraded on the drone as well. And with most new drones, there's usually a new firmware release available once you first purchase and receive the product. We met in the middle of December 2020 and I was able to install the DJI Fly app using the Google Play Store on his Android phone and that was version 1.2.1 of the DJI Fly app. Once that was installed, we then connected to the drone and the DJI Fly app auto-detected the fact there was a later version of the firmware available. And we installed the version available at that point in the middle of uh, December, 2020. And he was able to get it up in the air. He's been training since then, flying the drone. And he's been very happy with the results he's found with the drone. Very pleased with that product. But I found that at the end of December, there was a brand new firmware release available again for the Mini 2 but it did also require a later version of the DJI Fly app to be installed. And the caveat here is there's a different installation approach because it's not available on the Google Play Store. The firmware upgrade documents the fact that you have to go to the DJI website, download the later version, which is 1.2.2 from the DJI website for Android using an APK file, the application package file, and download that and install the later version from the application package file. It's not a very difficult process, but since and that's something that my friend had never done before. We got together again a few days ago and I downloaded the APK file from the DJI website, installed the 1.2.2 version of the DJI Fly app, and then we installed version 01.02.0100 of the firmware for the controller and the Mini 2, and that went reasonably well. So I thought I'd document that process here for you in case you're not fluent in all this stuff on the back end of an Android phone or tablet. So. Here, we're gonna get into that in just a moment. Let's go into, in the upper left-hand corner, there should be the version information and fix information for the latest firmware available at the end of December 2020 for the Mini 2. And you can see there's a couple of new features, which is why the later version of the DJI Fly app is required, because there's now digital zoom available for photos. There's also higher frame rates available for 2.7K video, there's 48, 50 and 60 frames per second available. And there's some stability for connections and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. For DNG files, there apparently were some corruption or artifacts in the photo in those. And then also for 4K video in the upper left-hand cor corner of those, there's usually like an orange stripe or red line that I have observed in some videos taken by a Mini 2. That's supposed to be resolved in this particular release. Take a look at that list if, and go over it. It's pretty straightforward. Notice at the bottom there is the reference to the fact that the app, DJI Fly app for Android must be obtained from the website. So that's why we're doing that and that's why I'm making this video so you can see that process. And so now let's go ahead and go into that where I show you the download, installation of the Fly app, and then the upgrade of the firmware. I wanted to give you an example of downloading the DJI Fly app from the Google Play Store and resulting in the version 1.2.1 and also the initial installation showing you the permissions that you needed to grant the app. So this is an example of the first time installation, but mainly I wanted to show you that you're only going to get version 1.2.1 at this point in time from the Google Play Store. So we're initializing it, going through the terms of use which you must agree to, and then the permissions that are required, and those are the defaults. I'm not going to log in at this point in time or join the improvement program, since I'm just trying to get to the information on the version string and then skip the new user guide at this point. Down in profile, I'm going to click on that and then go into the settings section, and then scroll down to the bottom left and you'll see that it's version 1.2.1. In this section, I'm going to show you using the Chrome browser on my Android phone, going to the DJI.com mobile mini 2 downloads as that's the link supplied in the firmware release notes, scrolling down to the download for Android because in the Play Store, it's say 1.2.1 as we saw in the previous section. So you're going to download that APK file, the application package file. And then once it's downloaded, so I'm speeding the download portion up here 
And once it's fully downloaded, then we're gonna click on the file to have it install the contents of that file. And at this point, we'll do that. And it's installing and staging the app. And we're giving it permission to perform the installation, which will then install the app and then un, you know, initialize the contents of the files on the phone with the contents necessary for the DJI Fly app 1.2.2. And once it completes installing here, app install, we'll click on open. And then we'll go over to the DJI Fly app and it's initializing the resource data here. And then once we get this fully started, we'll be able to go in like we did before and check out the profile section and then scroll down to that bottom left under settings. And we'll see that we now have version 1.2.2 and you'll see that it doesn't say Google Play any longer in the parentheses, it just says official. To get the firmware upgraded, I've already powered up the drone. We're going to power up the remote controller, connected it to the phone already, and the app is already running. It should interrogate both the controller and the drone to see that the firmware needs to be updated or potentially updated. And we'll get the prompt in the upper left-hand corner, and there it is, the new DJI Mini 2 firmware is available. And then we'll click on the install link, which will upgrade both the firmware on the drone and on the remote controller. So during this next section, after I click on install, I'm gonna speed that up. It does take a few minutes to get this done. So make sure that the batteries are charged to a good level to accomplish this successfully without running low on battery power. So we're getting the firmware on the drone installed and the lights are blinking there. You can kind of see below the phone screen there. And then the status for the upgrade is taking place here. And now the remote controller and both firmwares are installed. So make sure that you power down both, power them back up and get back in the app and go fly your drone. Well, there's the process to upgrade the DJI Fly app to version 1.2.2 on an Android phone or tablet as of January 3rd, 2021. You need to go to the DJI website, download the application package file, the APK file, install the DJI Fly app 1.2.2 from that. Later on, it might become available on the Google Play Store. Make sure you check the version available on the Google Play Store before you install it is you have to have that minimum version to take advantage of the new features in this firmware. And the firmware that was installed during this process was 01.02.0100, available at the end of December 2020 for the Mini 2. So hopefully you found the information in this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that bell notification to be notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. If you're considering purchasing a drone, Go check out the description section. I'll have links to my Amazon influencer store, which I do have a section dedicated to drones. And then I will also include a couple affiliate links for the Mini 2 for the standard base release and also basic release and the Fly More combo. And if you're considering purchasing one, please consider using one of those links to purchase it. It'll be a great way of supporting the channel at no extra cost to you. Thanks for coming to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.